Hello everyone, I went and saw the movie last night, and I'm going to try to keep this as unspoilery as possible for those who haven't seen it yet, but seriously, if you're on YouTube looking at videos for The Last Jedi, you're kind of inviting it on yourself. I'll, I'll do what I can though, and it should be pretty simple. I'll keep this short. The easiest way to describe this, the simplest way to describe this new movie, is that it's different. It is a very different Star Wars movie. And it's not a bad thing. It's just very different. Uh, I think a lot of it has to do with the director. When I heard Ryan Johnson was doing this, I'm like, the guy who directed Looper and Brick? If you haven't seen those two movies, Looper's okay. Uh, Brick is actually pretty interesting. He also directed three really, really good episodes of Breaking Bad. So I was really curious what he could do with a big movie because he's never really done anything like this before. Well, very few people have. And since I really liked The Force Awakened, and I really do enjoy a good J.J. Abrams movie other than The Lens Flare, I was nervous. They're handing this off to a relatively unknown guy. And he did a great job with it. One of the things that I noticed right away was some of the more technical issues, and I'm talking about like the camera angles. There was an honest-to-goodness push-pull in this movie. And you don't really see that in a Star Wars movie. Uh, there was also a really cool long take that was almost very David Fincher in the technique that he used. So it felt a lot more adult. And I don't mean adult as in adult movie. I mean grown-up, like sophisticated camera angles and interesting lighting and good color contrast. That was the technical part. Really good. The story? This is the biggest difference that I noticed. Most stories, especially when you take something like The Force Awakened, it's about the setting. You have this scene and this you know, underlying idea, and then you find characters in it. That's not how this movie worked. You have these characters, and they do stuff. But the stuff is almost unimportant. He kind of throws the plot at second hand. The most important things are the characters. And I thought that was a really interesting way to be able to tell a Star Wars movie. Because it's usually been all about the universe and all about what's going on. And, you know, are the rebels going to survive? And is the Empire or, you know, modern, modern take on the, this one, you know, the, the new Empire, as it were, the First Order, are they going to win the day? That's not really the point of this movie. It did feel like a little bit of like an adulter action movie. Uh, very, you know, uh, the where it's the characters doing exploding things and stuff like that, except without all the explosions, except without all of the distractions. Yes, there are a few really impressive action pieces. There are probably, I want to say, two outstanding fight scenes. Um, and as I said, I'm going to try to keep this short and, and, and uh, spoiler-free, but it was incredible to see the difference, how you can do a fight scene and um, the <clears throat> previous movies. I'm not a fan of the prequels, more mostly because of the fight scenes uh, of the second movie, a little bit of the third movie because of all of the crazy Jedi power flippy stuff that they do, Ryan decided that we're going to make this more, dare I say, realistic and more old school, more of the, you know, the old Star Wars movies and stuff like that. And I gotta tell you, he did a really good job of that too. I will say if, well, this should make sense. If you haven't seen a Star Wars movie, don't go see this. It doesn't make any sense. There were some great nostalgia pieces here. And um, I thought that they really tried to pull the heartstrings and they really did a good, I, I, a good job with that. 
I like the ideas when it came to that. All in all, uh, if you're a Star Wars fan, you're going to see this movie. It, it just makes sense. I mean, you're going to complete the set, as it were. Are you going to love it? I don't know, because it is so different. I need to see it a few more times before I make a decision. I walked out of The Force Awakens, and I thought it was almost the best Star Wars movie because they updated it and everything like that. I walked out of this movie kind of uncomfortable. And not in a good or bad way, but it just, as I said, it's just different. Thanks for watching this. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, please uh, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I've been Pure Sarcasm. Follow me on Twitter. Enjoy.